Hi, I'm Robert Leger, uh, here at Jacqueline Freeman's farm to help get rid of some yellow jackets. We're going to be doing a few different ways of getting rid of ground nests today. We'll show you um, and talk about the different ways of doing that. Uh, things I've found online, things other people have suggested. And, uh, so we're going to try and put that in. One of the first methods we're going to use here today is for a relatively uh, easy terrain. It's in, the, it's in the ground, fairly flat terrain, not a whole lot of grass around it. And I think it's going to work well to use a, a wire mesh screen. Uh, and basically what we're doing with it is using uh, a metal screen, not, not a plastic screen like you might use on your screen door, but something metal because uh, we're basically going to use it to trap them in the nest, uh, lock them in, and uh, make sure that they can't get out so they starve to death. Um, so the basic concept is, let's say I've got a nest here. I'm going to try and put this screen. This piece is about three foot by three foot. I think two foot by two foot would work just as well too, but um, I went for a little bit bigger just to be a little more conservative because I'm an engineer and I overdo things. So, um, so the idea is if there, if there are entrances here, we lay down the screen, we will uh, weight it down with some rock or dirt or sand, and um, in essence, the, the size of the nest is probably soft uh, volleyball size or smaller. So imagine the nest being uh, underground. You probably won't be able to see any of the paper nests through the entrance. So it goes in and off in some direction and then the nest is going to be uh, off to the side there probably. The ones I've dug up, they've only been uh, a few inches of soil before their cavity. So they're, they're fairly shallow. And it's usually in a rodent hole that they've, uh, that the queen found in the spring, it seemed to be a suitable location. So she started digging out. Uh, yellow jackets are very good diggers. That's one of the things to keep in mind with this. Um, and they'll start digging out a cavity big enough. She'll start building the nest, lay some eggs, get that first generation of yellow jackets going. So then she can stay in the nest while they expand the nest and go forage for food. Um, queens are usually out in April, May, in uh, in near where I live, and that's when they're out looking for a new home. You've got a a, a window there that the queens are coming back for. But coming back to this, um, so if you can get a sense for where that nest might be. You might see the tunnel go down at a certain angle and maybe you shift your screen a little more that direction. But uh, in reality, we want it big enough so that when they come up and they find they're trapped by the metal screen, they can't chew out, they're gonna try and dig out. And we want this to be big enough to, to make sure they can't find a good place to dig out. Um, I don't think they're gonna dig out more than you know, try and go two or three feet to the side before they come up. So wherever that nest is under here, they're probably gonna go towards the top of that open cavity um, and try and dig out from there. So I would imagine a two foot square would probably be fine for that. So that's uh, essentially the idea. Leave it there um, as long as you can. Um, depending on where it is and, and do you need the space. But remember, um, later in the year, let's say later August, maybe September, November, uh, if you don't find the nest and you don't deal with it, you don't try and trap them in until then, they're gonna be raising drones and queens. And uh, later in the year, those queens are gonna be fat. They're gonna be ready to go out and leave to hibernate for the winter. So they're probably not going to starve to death. Um, so if you find a nest and you're doing this later in the year, um, 
once you see no activity later, you might want to go in and collapse a nest. There might still be some queens that are just hanging out there hoping to get a break to get out later. Um, so I would recommend once you see no more activity uh, at the surface, when you're feeling brave, go in, take some shovel and collapse the nest. And we'll, we're going to dig, just dig straight into some nests today. Uh, and it'll be similar to that, but won't be as many yellow jackets at that, at that time.